What's up, guys? Jeremy here from mtgheadquarters.com. And what's this? Oh, that's the uh, 2014 MTG Headquarters playmat. I sure hope you pre-ordered. I'm just waiting on some tubes. But this is why we're really here. I got me a From the Vault Annihilation. My local game store is selling them for $60, which... It's okay. It's fine. I uh, have gotten better about just accepting that uh, sometimes they got to make a little bit of money too. So as long as it's within reason, we're all good. And uh, you can find them online for a little bit cheaper if you decide to look around. But uh, there's a couple of really interesting reprints in here. And I'm also going to kind of give you a review of the cards. <clears throat> and the reason I'm going to review them is... Because in the last from the vault, the foiling was really crummy. And uh, if you're thinking about dropping 60 bucks on these, and some EDH players, or a lot of EDH players are going to want to, um, you might want to know how they hold up. So what comes in this beautiful thing? You've got Decree of Annihilation, Fracturing Gust, Terminus, Child of Alara, Fire Spout, Martial Coup, Upheaval, Virtue's Ruin, Burning of the Zion, Cataclysm, Rolling Earthquake, that's a hot reprint, Wrath of God, Living Death, Smokestack, and Armageddon. Beyond Destruction, Looms, Annihilation. I'm not sure what that really even means. <laughs> Be beyond Death is Death. They obviously know which uh, cards are the hotness. There's a Rolling Earthquake. Uh, that's a P3K, Portal 3 Kingdoms reprint, I believe. Was it Portal? It's like a $100, $150 card in Portal. P3K. But uh, let's go ahead and open it because I'm MTGHQ and that's what I do. I <clears throat> buy things and I do the dumb thing by opening them up. This die looks really nice. I like that. Okay, so let's get this open. There's a little... Oh, there's a nice poster in the bottom. Very cool. Oh, look at that. It's like uh, Heliod, maybe, doing his thing. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see that. Pretty cool, huh? On the other side, you get the story behind each one of these cards and why it's like kind of epic. I wonder what they say about Rolling Earthquake. Yeah, it is P3K. Uh, is a quirky and highly prized card that was only in uh, P3K, yeah. So it's extremely hard to get, and now you're going to have foil versions of it out there. Which is pretty bananas. B-A-N-A-N-E-R-S. All right. This die is uh, pretty neat. It's got a cool look to it. Um, I mean, I know who cares about the die. It's a, you know, you care about the cards, but, you know. Let's start with this pack. I can tell you already that these look way better. They're on the new border, so say what you will about that. Uh, but let's go ahead and open it. So you can really see each individual card. And maybe what I'll do here is I'll give these cards the, uh, wow. Maybe that isn't Heliod. It must be, yeah. Um, look at this card. What a beautiful, beautiful card in foil. Destroy all creatures, they cannot be regenerated. That art is so good. Here we have Child of Alara. 6-6 six, six, Trample. When Child of Alara dies, destroy all non-land permanents. They cannot be regenerated. We have Decree of Annihilation. 10 mana. Exile artifacts. Creatures, lands from the battlefield. All cards uh, from all graveyards. And all cards from all hands. <laughs> Hilarious. They do have... I mean, this is the problem with these. I mean, the. Uh, I don't understand why they can't bother to get this right. I mean, I don't know how I can really 
what the best way to like show you how like bendy it is. But I mean, maybe that will help. The edges kind of are curled up a little bit, but the foiling looks uh, much better than the last from the vault uh, 20. Fire Spout deals three damage to each creature without flying. If red mana was spent, three, uh, if green was spent, uh, three damage to each creature with flying. Okay. And you can use both and uh, get three damage to like everything. It's pretty bananas. Fracturing Gust. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. You gain two life for each permanent destroyed in this way. I imagine once you let these sit out for a little while, part of me feels like it's like these these like packages that they put them in. It's almost like it's too tight and like bends the cards. I don't know if that's it. I really don't, but that's how it feels to me. These cards are just beautiful though. Living Death. Each player exiles all creature cards from his or her graveyard, then sacrifices all creatures he or she controls, then puts all cards he or she exiled in this way onto the battlefield. That's nuts. Martial Coup. Put X11 one, one white soldier creature tokens onto the battlefield. If X is five or more, destroy all other creatures. Wow. The foiling looks incredible on that card. Whoa. Armageddon. This card looks incredible. Who drew this? Chris Ron. That looks... I mean, that is one of the most beautiful cards in foil I've ever seen. Destroy all lands. Is this Burning burning of Zinye? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Looks beautiful. You destroy four lands you control, then target opponent destroys four lands he or she controls, then Burning of Zinye deals four damage to each creature. Oh, Cataclysm, too. That is beautiful, too. Each player chooses uh, from among the permanents he or she controls an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a land, then sacrifices the rest. You know, I find with these foil cards, though, if you want to play with them, you know, leaving them out and maybe putting a book on them, putting them in a uh, sleeve and then kind of putting a book on them uh, helps flatten them out. I don't know if that's like also i know that humidity does cause foils to to kind of curl up a little bit so um you know maybe putting in a room where you it's not super humid i want to be careful with this one because uh foil rolling earthquake is going to be i'm guessing pretty sought after beautiful card too Rolling Earthquake deals X damage to each creature without horsemanship and each player. <laughs> that is amazing. And that one's a lot less kind of foil, uh, foil bent. Smokestack, four mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a soot counter on Smokestack. We can have each player's upkeep. That player sacrifices a permanent for each soot counter on smokestack. Ooh, Miracle and Foil looks incredible too. Terminus. Put all creatures on the bottom of his or her library of their owner's libraries. I'm just trying to feature the art a little bit. I think this set, this is the last card, right? Oh no, two left. Upheaval. Almost missed that. Was stuck to it. Return all permanents to their owner's hands at sorcery speed. And Virtue's Ruin, destroy all white creatures. Uh, I would definitely say on the new border, these look pretty incredible. They got a little bit of that kind of wavy foil bendiness, but it seems much improved over uh, from the vault. Um, you know, hopefully this stuff doesn't just rub off. It looks like it's okay. Yeah, I think uh, this is probably safe buy. I wouldn't pay much more than... 60 for it, but uh, definitely cool. I think the, this is great to have in your collection. Or if you are an EDH player or one of the many formats that some of these cards are legal in, uh, these versions, I think, are going to be on the top of your to-have list. 
I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I'm working hard to bring you all sorts of different kinds of videos lately. I'm sure you've noticed that. Uh, trying to grow the channel's diversity while still sticking to my core of Magic the Gathering, of course. But if you're new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe. I upload just about any kind of video you could want uh, if you're a fan of Magic the Gathering. And uh, if you already subscribed, you know, maybe take a second to crush that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. It helps new people find the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG Vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.